Hi there, my name's Luke. Welcome back to Photo Bite. Today we are reviewing two bags. On my right here we have the Manfrotto rucksack, and then on my left we have the Manfrotto messenger bag. Let's get into the review. So Manfrotto sent us two bags. We've got the rucksack ProLite messenger bag, the Bumblebee, and we've also got the rucksack, which is one that I've got. Um, I personally have been using the rucksack, I've really been enjoying it recently. I like how easy it is to use, which sounds silly, but you do get bags that can be a bit complex, especially when you're getting a camera bag. So let's go sit down and I'll talk you through the backpack. Right, so let's have a little wander through the Bumblebee backpack. We'll start off with what is going on on the outside. So on the front here, you've got a zip down the middle, which is great if you want to put in things like passport or driving license, something you can get to very quickly. Then if we cut it open here, we've then got the little slots in here. This is where I normally keep my memory cards. I'll keep them in here, um, or I'll keep in a cleaning cloth, anything that's really quick to get to. And then if we turn to the side here, this is where you've got the tripod holder. Now this is a very um, discreet and effective way of having a tripod holder put in place. So you just take it out like so, but say you keep it out, you can then put this away by taking it out the little strap here, and then just tuck it away in its own little pocket, which you can use for other things, um, but that's just what its main use is for. And then you go have it, you're just back to using a normal bag. Now if we flip over to the other side, this side is a bit more plain and basic, but essentially you've just got a little sleeve here that you can keep in. I've got my water bottle in there, but you could have something else if you want to. And then you've also got a little handle here, which is quite helpful for holding it up and then getting what you need to get to. So for example, getting it open to get your wallet or whatnot. Now if you go to this side, you see you're looking at a bit more of a different story. So these straps are foam padded along the backs here and also you've got a new design which is something very different from Manfrotto but they've got it blended into the actual back and then you've got this long arch back support which I've been finding is very helpful especially when it's those hot days and you, you don't want to get a weird um, sweat patch down your back I find this really is good for allowing the back to breathe and you've got little slots for where the air can get in and out so that's very helpful this also blends down to waist support as well, and again you've got another grip there, but there is one other extra job this has, and I'll show you in just a bit. And then on this side, you've then got this little guy here. This is where you can put in a smaller lens. So here you can keep, um, say, lens B, so you can be shooting with lens A, and then you've got to switch over. So rather than taking the backpack off and having to switch it around, you can literally just go into the little pocket, grab it out and do a switch. Bear in mind that it's not going to work for all lenses. Um, if you're using a zoom lens, you're not going to fit a 70 to 200 in here. This would be as where you would put a, a, a prime lens and maybe a 2470 as well. Um, but anything bigger than that won't be going in there. Now, let's get to the fun stuff. Right, so this is the top of the bag and you've actually got four zips. Now I thought this was a bit strange, but really it just makes the ease of use a bit easier. So you can have two on that side, then two on that side. The main benefit is, is if I bring two around just here, we've also got a little Velcro to cover up as well. Sometimes with the Velcro, you can actually use it to hide the zips, like so, so you can't really get to the zips very easily. That's a nice little semi-secure feature they have. But say you just wanna get into the top compartment, you just open this top bit down to there, pop it open, and then you've got your top section where I've got myself a um, camera strap, and then just a pen, because I've also got a notebook with me as well, and then you zip it up like so. Now, to open the main bit, you just gotta pull the Velcro back, and then open the main compartment, and it opens like a lid. So there isn't much stuff in here at the moment, because I'm currently using it on the camera, but what I can show you is I've got one camera in there, my other camera in here, and a little divider in the middle to keep the two separate. Now, this is the 50mm with the Nikon D700, but I also have a Sigma 1835, which is a bit longer, and it slots in there perfectly. And then I've just got my film camera sitting in the side here as a camera B. 
but from pictures I've seen on the internet, um, I've seen people have up to about three cameras in here. Some are even pushing four, and you can get some really, really big lenses in here. So if you're a wildlife photographer and see you've got a Canon 300mm, which is a very, very big uh, lens, you can open this little section here, like so, and you can have your oops you can have your body here and then your lens extending all the way through here again a very nice feature to have and something i can definitely see a lot of people using and then basics i've just got some camera roll in a little bag here uh, if you ever check out my loki rig review i keep my loki rig in there and then any bits and pieces like a spare lens i'll put in there now weirdly one of my favorite features i liked was this bag here because a lot of us have little bits and pieces and uh, that we put in our camera bag. We normally keep them in here um, or on the outside of the bag, but as a nice security feature, it's nice to keep them on the inside. So with this, with this little pocket, I've got small things in here. So in here, if you have another lens, you could keep it in there. Um, I suffer from hay fever, so I've got tissues. I've then got uh, iPhone lens with the um, attachments. I've got my action camera with me, memory cards, uh, more iPhone lenses, I then got my straps, um, I got a battery pack for my phone, um, a little blower for my lenses, and then just some spare bits and pieces here and there. So you can see it holds quite a variety of things, and it's just really handy to have. And one of the other bon bonuses I like about it is it doesn't stay in here permanent, it's not a permanent fixture you can actually just take it out. So you could even use, use it like a travel bag. And that is the um, Manfrotto Bumblebee rucksack. And now we'll move on to the Messenger. Right, now we're on to the Bumblebee ProLite um, Messenger bag. Now this one's very different from the rucksack, as you can tell straight off the bat. One of the bonuses you get from the top is a nice little zip. So it's easy access to lenses. Um, what I'm finding already between the two is with a rucksack is more for going out, traveling, maybe going for a hike. Whereas if you're a uh, wedding photographer and you're in one location, we've got a lot of lenses to use. This will be a very helpful bag and we'll get to that next part in just a second. But from the outside, you've got your strap padded, um, of course. And then if we swing it around to the side, a little place to put in a water bottle when you're out and about. and then same on the other side as well. You've also got again that little spot where you can put in your wallet or you put in your uh, passport if you're traveling. Underneath we've now got two little clips to open up the main compartment as well as two velcro pads and now we're in. So on the inside you've got a little space for your laptop in the back here and you can put that pretty much anywhere because it's all a velcro uh, system and design. You then got section one, section two, and section three. So you can have about three lenses and maybe even two bodies in here if you wanted to, um, if you're smart about it. And the reason this is very helpful is say you have a 24-70, a 50 mil, and a 70 to 200 lens, you can have all three in there and it's easy access from the top. So you can get access to one, do a switch, get access to the other. So Similarly to the rucksack, you had the little pouch. With this one, it's definitely more of on the go and constantly changing. So this is a very handy and a very helpful bag to have. So that's it for this review. I um, hope you find it very helpful. And to find out more about the next reviews, make sure you follow us on all our social media. My name's Luke, this has been Photobyte, and we'll see you next time.